Representing the National Solidarity Party is Ms. Jeanette Chong Aruldos. Friends and fellow Singaporeans, this general election is important in shaping the future of Singapore. The decision you make on the 7th of May will determine how your family and you will live your lives in the next five years. When you cast your vote on the 7th of May, think about what will be best for you, your loved ones and for Singapore. Ask yourself, has the ruling party kept its promises? Has the PAP government delivered on their promise of a Swiss standard of living? You know the answer. They have not. Are you happy with the quality of your life? Do you feel you deserve better? We are forced to contend with jam roads, crowded trains and buses, and ERP gantries that no longer serve their purpose. Public housing is now so expensive that young couples are settling down later in life. Our fertility rates have plummeted. Do you want soaring prices and 30-year loans for HDB flats or do you want housing that your children and your grandchildren will be able to afford? The cost of everything has been rising relentlessly. This has forced our people to retire later in life and with less to fund their retirement. Do you think it's fair that we pay GST on basic necessities? We should not bear an unnecessary tax burden on top of the already high cost of living. That is why NSP wants to return GST to 5% and exempt basic necessities from this tax. Do you want to feel secure in the knowledge that your job will not be in jeopardy due to liberal immigration policies? Our solution is simple. Raise the employment pass threshold from $2,800 to $4,000. Do you worry about what will happen to you and your loved ones when you fall ill and cannot afford to foot your hospital bills? Current care, health care subsidies are not taking care of the very people who need help most. We want a Singapore where people have access to quality health care that is affordable and within their means. Our country has been transformed into a place where dreams and ambitions are left at the door and not everyone has an equal chance to succeed. Our government can no longer inspire us. People are afraid to vote for the opposition because the PAP threatens to withhold estate upgrading plans. But upgrading and urban renewal should not be politicised. These are funded by taxpayers' money. We have the right to vote without fearing any sort of reprisal. The root of the problems which we now face is the leadership of the PAP government. They have run our country like a company. They have made GDP growth their main performance indicator and packed their million-dollar salaries to it. This is why they pursue GDP growth at all costs. GDP does not measure the quality of our lives. It does not measure the choices we give our children or the honour we accord our elders. It does not measure our compassion. It does not speak of our devotion to our country. It measures everything except what lends fullness to our lives. Our leaders have forgotten that their priority is to serve the people. They have forgotten that they must put our interests before their own. We, the people of Singapore, should be the top priority. We are not a means to an economic end. We are a people with hopes, dreams and dignity and we deserve more than this. We, as citizens of Singapore, deserve leaders whose only agenda is our agenda. We need to be led by men and women who will serve us with their hearts and their minds. We deserve leaders who will be accountable to the people. We are not powerless. We will not sit back and help helplessly as the PAP government drives our country in a direction that we do not want to go. On 7th of May, you will cast your vote. As you stand in the voting booth with the ballot paper, think about what has gone wrong over the past two decades. Think of the Singapore that you want to build. Think about the change you want to see. Cast your vote for the future of Singapore without fear. Your vote is your voice. It is your choice and your future. Vote for the NSP.